we can use what we know about substitution to solve um, a differential equation. This is a, a differential equation because it involves derivatives of y, and the goal is to figure out what the original function y is. We call it an initial value problem because it has some initial data at time 0. We know y prime is 4, and we know that the position is negative 1. So this, this is a initial data. And so we call this an initial value problem. Figure out what is y. That would there be a whole family of functions that have this as their second derivative. We want to find the particular member of the family. We want to pick what the arbitrary constants are um, by using our initial data. Now we've got y, y double prime, right? If we want to find just y prime, that would be the antiderivative of y double prime. And y double prime is the secant squared of 2x times the tangent of 2x dx. Okay, now we could do a little substitution. Just the 2x's are kind of making my eyes go cross. So why don't I let u be 2x, then du would be 2dx. If I make that substitution, we have, um, let's see, there's a 4. That's 2 times 2. So I'm going to take that 2 and put another 2 with the dx here. And I'll have 2 times the secant squared of u times the tangent of u. And then 2dx is du. OK. Now that's a little bit cleaner, right? So in fact, I could pull out the 2 and get it out of my way. Now you can see that the derivative of the tangent is the secant squared. So let's do another substitution. We're going to go a little bit deeper, one level of substitution down again. So let's let w be the tangent of u. Then dw would be the secant squared of u du. So my integral would become 2 times w um, secant squared u dw. And the antiderivative of 2w is w squared. So we have w squared plus c. Of course, what was w? w was the secant squared. So now we have, um, oh, no, w was the tangent. So we have the tangent squared of u plus c. But then u was 2x. So finally, we found y prime up to an arbitrary constant. Here's where we can use our initial data to figure out what c is. We're told that when you plug in 0 for x, you should get out 4. But we can also see that when you plug in 0 for x, you'll get the tangent squared of 0. And the tangent of 0 is the sine of 0 over the cosine of 0, which is 0 over 1, which is 0. So the tangent squared of 0 is 0 plus c. Ah, and this tells me then that c is 4. Now that I know that c is 4, I know y prime of x is going to be the tangent squared of 2x plus 4. Now to find y, I need to find the antiderivative of y prime. So I need to find the antiderivative of tangent squared 2x plus 4 with respect to x. Now to do the tangent squared, I'm going to have to use an identity. Remember that 1 plus the tangent squared is the secant squared. So I'm going to write the secant, let's see, the tangent squared would be secant squared minus 1. So we have secant squared 2x minus 1 plus 4 dx. And the antiderivative of the secant squared would be the tangent of 2x. Although if I use the chain rule here, the derivative of the tangent of the secant squared divided with the inside times the derivative of the inside would kick out a 2. So I need to be ready for that 2 with a 1 half. Here, negative 1 and 4 make 3, and the antiderivative of 3 would be 3x plus c. I'm almost there. I have a whole family of functions that would work, but our particular function, when you plug in 0, we need negative 1 to come out. If you plug 0 into what we found so far, the tangent of 2 times 0 would be the tangent of 0, which is 0, plus 3 times 0 would be 0, so we've got c. And it's supposed to be negative 1. And that tells me c is negative 1. I can finally finish the problem. y should be 1 half the tangent of 2x plus 3x minus 1.